Hi everyone, my name is Melanie Grant and this is CNM Glass. Today we're focusing on our ICD-10 CM coding for chapter 6 on the coding chapter F01 through F99, Mental, Behavioral and Neural Development Disorders. This is just going to be a brief video where we talk about our key points with some of the mental conditions you'll see in here, uh, manifestations, uh, developmental uh, uh, delays and differences between use, abuse, and dependencies. For this lecture, I will be using the ICD-10 CM 2019 Expert Edition published by the AAPC as our coding book and a textbook, Let's Code It by McGraw-Hill 2019 Edition. If you're using a different edition, that's perfectly fine, but be aware that there may be differences in page numbers and some additional resources that I use. Okay, so let's get started. Now, the first thing I like to look at every time I look at a new chapter is the very beginning of the coding chapter that I'm in. And for mental health, uh, behavioral neurodevelopment, I'm just going to call it mental health because that kind of summarizes it for us. Uh, we find this on page 539. Okay? In mental health, there are and includes and excludes two notes, which indicates that it includes any disorders of psychological development. There's our keyword there. And it excludes symptoms, signs, and abnormal clinical lab findings not elsewhere classified. So in other words, as we should always know, uh, if it's not documented as a condition with certainty, then we have to code the symptom, not the possible condition, unless we're coding for inpatient. Now, the chapter does have blocks for mental disorders for due to known psychological conditions, mental and behavior disorders due to psychoactive substance use, so, uh, schizophrenias, mood disorders, anxieties, behavioral syndromes, disorders of adult personality and behaviors, intellectual disabilities, pervasive and specific developmental disorders, and behavioral and emotional disorders, and then there's also unspecified. So as we should know, the mental health system is expanding. We're learning more about it each day. And icd 10 uh, was actually intended to take over the DSM-5, which identified the breakdown of mental health disorders. So you may still see providers referencing DSM-5. There's nothing wrong with that. But always be aware of how does that translate to our reporting for our coding blocks. There is a note here. This block com compromises a range of mental disorders. Oh, that's for our first one, sorry. So F01 through F09 does have notes. We'll look at that here in a minute. Um, actually, let's look at it now. So mental disorders due to a known psychological condition. This is where a patient has something happen to them, such as an accident, that they then start to develop uh, mental conditions. So if they hit their head, uh, they may have specific conditions. Uh, they may be uh, personality disorders or uh, dementias. And this is giving us some of the guidelines on if it falls under a psychological condition, it's caused by something else. In fact, one of your big ones that you're going to notice for this is dementia. And I mention this one because there's a couple of different types of dementia. You'll notice F01 mentions vascular dementia, which indicates to us uh, the condition that I just gave an example of, where they've hit their head, and it's a sequela of the accident. So if you're not already thinking it, or if you didn't read it in the book, you must always code with this code, f 01s the underlining condition first, okay? So if they have a vascular dementia, that means that they have dementia caused by some sort of injury um, that affected their brain, whether it was external or internal, such as a TMI, uh, TIA, <laughs> then you're going to identify what caused it. If the provider does not know, we cannot code this. So they need to be able to say it was caused by a specific thing, and that needs to be in your documentation. You'll also notice with a lot of mental conditions, they have different things like with or without behavioral uh, disturbances. And so when you're looking at behavioral disturbances, that's any of the conditions that they have that are unusual behaviors that they need to, that they are addressing. And so dementias have quite a few of those. You have F02, dot, uh, F02 for dementias and diseases classified elsewhere. Uh, and it gives some examples such as Alzheimer's, which you'll notice is a neurological code. 
uh, cerebral conditions. They give a full long list. Uh, Alzheimer's and uh, Lewy body are two of the most common ones, I would say. Um, and then you have dementias and diseases classified elsewhere. Now, in the instance that you cannot identify the type of dementia, okay, Okay. You do have an unspecified dementia code. And if you're dealing with a patient that is with Medicare, I can tell you uh, payer policies will not pay it, but unspecified dementia is appropriate to list if it's not documented. So put on your coder hat, not your billing hat, and remember that we have to code to the highest specificity based off of what is given to us and what we can identify. Okay, so I wanted to go over that one first and foremost because that's one of the biggest ones that I've seen in the medical field that is constantly being done wrong. Now, outside of dementias, we have other conditions. There's tons of psychological conditions found in this chapter, and you can read through them and get used to them. Um, so, kind of skipping over that. Mental behavior disorders due to a psychoactive substance. That's our next block. <coughs> And as you guessed, um, this is going to be drugs and alcohol type of conditions. This is where we're talking about uh, when a patient is using something that is causing problems um, or disorders. So the first one is listed as alcohol-related disorders. And you want to use an additional code for a blood level, if applicable, and it gives you a code to a Y section, Y90. Um, and then you have the differences between abuse... So F10.1, dependency F10.2, and other, let's see, uh, use unspecified F10.9. So again, it falls down to documentation. If it's not documented, we don't uh, specify it. We cannot say it is abuse unless it is documented. We cannot say it is dependency unless it is documented. So if they just say uh, that they are drinking a lot of alcohol or that they drink alcohol and it's causing a disorder, then we would go with use, okay? So use is the unspecified, and this applies to alcohol as well as other drugs. And it's also the lowest issue type condition. Uh, when we go to abuse, this means that there is a documented problem uh, and it must be documented as abuse. And it's the next level up as far as problems. Dependency means that they can't stop. And it also must be documented, and it's, again, a higher level. So when we talk about higher levels, we talk about a uh, higher level of a problem. We talk about more severe conditions. Uh, when you're looking at DSMs, uh, they're considered higher level on those. And so we go through alcohol, opioids, uh, various different types of drugs. And the thing to keep in mind is to identify the type of drug. If you're not familiar with a drug that they're mentioning as to how it would classify in the mental health section, well, you guessed it, you wanna look it up. And the best reference I have for that is looking at the PDR, uh, which is one of your references uh, that you should have available to you uh, because it gives you the physician's drug reference, uh, pdr.net, and it gives you all the different types of drugs and what they classify under. When you're coding in mental health for different drugs that affect a patient, this is very important to know. Okay, moving on to our next coding block, which will be a few pages in. There are a lot of conditions for drug uses and alcohol uses, su substance uses, okay? So the next block that we have is schizophrenias, which includes uh, schizotypical, delusional, and other non-mood uh, psychotic disorders. These are things that patients develop that aren't associated with a uh, condition that may have caused it or that aren't associated with the drug use. So if they are experiencing this symptom and it's due to some other condition, 
you want to look at your other areas first before coming here. Um, they have all the different types of disorders that you should be familiar with. Uh, you're, you have bipolars listed in here. It's a very small section dealing with schizophrenia. Your mood, dis mood, mood disorders are a little bit longer and um, so you would have like the difference between a bipolar disorder that is separate from schizophrenic bipolar. Um, so there is a difference there and you want to identify that. Um, again, there's no block exclusions or notes, so you would go to the section that you're looking under. Most of these are pretty specific. The provider has to document it very exact. Uh, this is a fairly relatively easy chapter to code out of because your coding is going to match exactly what the doctor said. Um, if there's not a specificity, you go with an unspecified code, um, and that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, be aware of certain conditions like PTSD with uh, anxiety versus anxiety by itself. Uh, be aware of complex conditions um, because you will see some of those separate. Uh, behavioral symptoms associated with psychological disturbance and physical factors is your next block, and that's on page 561 of the code book. It starts with things like eating disorders sleep disorders, uh, sexual dysfunctional disorders. A lot of people argue about that. Um, and then it just goes on for another half a page on um, non-psychoactive substances and other non-specifieds. Uh, you have disorders of adult personalities and behaviors. So if they have personality disorders, this is where you're going to find those listed. And you'll find them all throughout here, impulse disorder, uh, obsessive compulsive, um, paranoid. There's a lot of songs that come to mind that talk about these kind of conditions. So um, gender identity disorders was listed in the mental health section, uh, but I believe will be changed in the 2020 code book. Uh, to be under the Z code section instead of mental health. So take a mental note of that change. And then next you get to is intellectual disabilities. And here you also have a notation under the block for F70 through F79, I'm on page 564, that indicates to us we should code first associated physical or developmental disorders. And there is an excludes one note for borderline intellectual functioning uh, with an IQ above 70 to 84, that goes to a symptom code, not a mental disorder code. So this is where you're going to find some of your developmental conditions, um, very specific to where do they have developmental issues. This is talking about mental development, not physical development, uh, and you have about a page and a half, two pages uh, for those. And then our last two blocks are behavioral and emotional disorders with onset usually occurring in childhood and adolescence. Uh, so these are conditions where a patient uh, develops, such as a ADHD, uh, conduct disorders, emotional disorders. Um, let's see, you have other behavioral. So it breaks them down. Um, and most of these are pretty much straightforward. When you have a condition, you're going to start with the term that the condition is. You're going to find it. If you've looked absolutely everywhere and it does not apply to anything on here, then you have an unspecified mental disorder for this chapter. Be wary of using unspecified codes as they can come back to bite you. That's all I had to talk about this one. I really wanted to get you guys to understand the differences in coding the different types of dementias and making sure to be aware that you have to code the first, the underlying cause of dementia because it is considered a condition that is caused by something, not just something that occurs to a patient and making sure that you're aware of the differences between use, abuse, and dependency. That's all for this week. Make sure you t uh, stay tuned and check in our other videos, which we'll be covering uh, as we go forward with other systems.